Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's five box high end hybrid baseball mixer number one. It's a pick your team mixer as well, which is interesting. We got NT Tribute and Immaculate in here, all 2019 editions, and they're all being popped from a fresh case. So let's see, what's the box? Well, first off, a huge thanks to all the people that got into this break. And look at that. Lots of Last Bot Mojo stars next to Sean's name. Thank you, Sean. I think William Henson bought a big chunk of teams too. And thanks to everybody else for snagging their team. So really appreciate everyone doing their part, big and small, to make this break happen. All right. So the first one. Did I print that? I did. So right from the from there. We got a box of NT. Got a two boxes of Immaculate. Two boxes of Tribute. So... There's 2019 NT Baseball. I didn't realize we had any of that immaculate sitting around. I guess some more immaculates grew on some of the trees that we had out there. The big hit tree, the immaculate tree. All right, so let's number these one. Two, three, and four. So I'm going to select a die. We're going to roll the die, and then we're going to see which box we're going to do. If I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. Roll again. We'll roll again. <laughs> we're never going to get this breakdown. Okay. Two. So that is the NT box that we're going to do. All right, next we've got a box, two boxes of Immaculate Baseball. This is right down here. There you go, 2019 Immaculate Baseball. Oh, this has eight. Uh, we'll have to mark these eight, and then we'll just generate a number on random.org. I thought it was a six boxer. So there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ram.org. Help us out. And there's the random number generator right there. Let's generate a number between one and eight. And it's gonna be one. So there's box one, and then let's generate one more number. And it's gonna be five. So actually the two boxes right on top. One was on top of this stack, and five was on top of that stack. So one and five, and we'll save these for next time. Maybe we'll run this back. Did you guys like this? Sean liked it. William liked it. A lot of people liked it. Should we run it back? And there's 2019 Tribute Baseball. I think there's only six in this one. Logan says, but random team though? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think maybe mixers lend themselves a little bit better to random teams, right? And like full case, like if we did a full case of this, it lends itself a little bit better to pick your teams maybe. All right, we've got two boxes of this as well. One. 
and four. Oh, the two boxes on top right there too. That's kind of weird. All right, and we'll save these for next time. All right, so that's five, one, two, three, four, five boxes right there. Some pretty nice stuff. Good luck, everybody. So there's your five right there. We'll start with Tribute. We'll go with Tribute, then we'll do two Immaculates, and we'll close out with the NT. Good luck, everybody. The website, uh, S. Smith, is jaspiescasebreaks.com. It's uh, right there, right where my finger is pointing. That's the website, J-A-S-P-Y-S, casebreaks.com. Uh, no, we're we're act. This is actually our last break of the night. We just finished a full case, uh, prison football break. So you just missed that. But we'll be back tomorrow, two o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Eastern. We break seven nights a week, so you, know, you can catch us on any given night. And uh, join some breaks. All right, 2019 tribute to baseball. Good stuff here. Good luck. Break seven nights a week. S.S. Smith, we're live 2 o'clock Pacific to 10 o'clock Pacific. Catch us on any given night. We got Wilson Contreras Relic, 127 out of 150. That'll be for the Cubbies. That'll go to Sean. Sean's got a lot of teams in this. You'll hear his name a lot. I'm going to breeze through these base cards, even though they look really nice. Everything ships in this break, too. So you'll be getting all those things. We got 4 out of 10, Don Mattingly. That's nice. Yankees. William Henson. William got a good chunk of teams, too. Shave those sideburns, Mattingly. Remember, guys, remember that? There's the babe. There is a dual relic. Both Mets, Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard. 17 out of 25. Nice dual relic for the Mets. Metropolitan's Richard Z. Your World Series champ Juan Soto right there. Anyone watch the parade today? Was it good? Colby Allard, rookie autograph to 150 for the Atlanta Braves. Nope. Yes. He's on the Rangers now. But this is still Braves edition. That goes to William Henson. There's Michael Kopech to 435. Xander Bogarts, two color triple relic. That's one out of 150 going to the Red Sox shot. Jonathan Torres says parade looked fun. City of Champions. If you follow hockey and baseball, City of Champions. Ooh, a redemption. There's Gary Carter to 99. Nettie Matthews. Tribute autograph of X Xavier Howe. No, Xander Bogarts, of course. 
That goes to the Red Sox, Sean. We got nice shadow box autograph, Johnny Bench. 24 out of 40. I'm a man, I'm 40. Sean Corbett with the Reds, nice. Charlie Blackman to 99 for the Rockies. And we've got a Chris Sale triple relic. This product's called uh, Tribute, 2019 Topps Tribute Baseball. It came out earlier this summer, I think. Blake's. Now, we mixed it in with a couple immaculate baseball boxes and, and one NT baseball box right on the bottom. We got Hall of Famer Rod Carew. He converted. To 170, 80 out of 170. That is Twins edition. That will be for Sean. I'm not sure how much of how much is this a box? Does anyone know off the top of their head? It's Josh Harrison. One out of fifty. Pirates, Sean. And give peace a chance, Adams. 40 out of 99. It's for William Henson and the Yankees. I think when it came out, it must have been a couple hundred bucks, I think. You might get it a little bit on the on the cheaper side now. It's been out for a while. And a couple A's, Matt Olson, Matt Chapman, a couple Matt's. As well, out of 99 for Sean and the Athletics. And there's Clayton. All right. That was two tributes. Now time for two immaculate baseballs. I think it's been a minute or two since we popped some of these open. If I remember, the cases that we popped open were pretty amazing. There's some pretty amazing stuff in here. So let's see if that trend continues here. Wow. Jonathan Torres, what happens if someone pays for a team and the team has no autos? You know what? That happens a lot. That's the risk. I apologize profusely. They cry. <laughs> they lick their wounds, you know, and then they come back and try again. All right, out of the gate is a fielding glove, Danny Jansen. Seven out of nine. That's for Mary Lou and the Blue Jays. That's not, I don't think that's his gamer though, Mary. They're not, he's, not, he's not giving Panini his gamer to cut up. But that's still pretty sick. Do I have a... That is nice. That's cool. Really unique. Next one is 44 out of 49. David Dahl for the Colorado Rockies. And that is for Trevor Jacobs and the Rocks. We've got another relic. Christian Yelich, 71 out of 99. With the Brew Crew, Charles with the Brewers. And we have Sean Murphy, 2 out of 25, jersey and autograph for the Oakland A's. Sean Corbett with the Athletics. 
But yeah, it is a big risk, Sean, but when you can possibly add things like this year collection, you know, I think I think people will take that risk cuz otherwise you can just buy a box of this by yourself for what? This is 4 3 400 bucks or something like that. And maybe you get stuff that's not as good as you hoped it would be. So the group breaking does kind of help price-wise kind of mitigate the risk of just buying a box yourself. I and mean, if you have the means, go for it. Absolutely, go for it. But for the rest of us, kind of group breaking is kind of a fun way to, to chase some hits, add some stuff to the collection, maybe flip a, couple, flip a couple things for a profit and rinse, repeat. Rowdy Tellez for Mary Lou, 29 out of 49. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes people try it and they say, not for me. We don't see him again. Sometimes we see him every day. It's all it's all different. It's all just depending on your acceptable level of risk. That's a nice one for Aaron Pettit and the Chicago White Sox. That's Eloy Jimenez. You got a you got a five piece right here and his autograph. That is forty six out of forty nine. Nice. And the thicker card kind of gives it a sort of a shadow box look, which I think is a really sh sharp design this year. One more immaculate, and then an NT. But group breaking general I mean just like any other hobby you have to think of it as a hobby I think I know that that there's a lot of secondary market value here that is enticing for a lot of people you know my, you know myself included but at the end of the day still a hobby you know some people some people spend a bunch of money on you know putting fixing up their cars you know maybe that's not always so to resell you know I don't know just a thing that we do. 29 out of 49, Michael Conforto. Metropolitan, that'll be for Richard Z. We got 35 out of 49, Immaculate Jumbo Relic, Esteban Floreal. I wonder how active the trade market's going to be this year. Signing, signings. And trade seemed to be a little on the quieter side the last couple off seasons, but I don't know. I think you know the Yankees have got a lot of players, surplus of players. They got to make some moves. You know, I'm sure the Dodgers want to retool. They Angels want to make sure they don't waste the prime of Mike Trout's career. Nine out of twenty-five. Angels, Sean Corbett. Yeah, I think free agency market this year. It's got to boom, right? I don't know, it took Manny Machado and and Bryce Harper forever to get signed. And I feel like it took forever to this guy to get signed. And I feel like they took forever, you know, a couple years ago, J.D. Martinez took forever to sign. I mean, there's Brent Honeywell, 41 out of 49. But I think it might be a little more active this year now that, now that a couple contending teams kind of figured out who they were and who their young guys are. You know, so... I heard some crazy thing where, well, to me it was crazy, where they were like, oh, why don't we set a deadline, a free agent signing deadline for multi-year contracts at the end of the winter meetings. And I thought, that doesn't help the players. It just helps the owners pocket more money so they don't have to pay players. I, don't, I didn't like that at all. 18 out of 49, Ryan O'Hearn. Because at the end of the day, Philly still had the money for Bryce Harper. But I'll guess what? If they could short Bryce Harper a couple hundred million dollars, they would have. And that's just more money going into the pockets of rich owners. So, so I didn't agree. I didn't agree with that. But I do agree that this is for the Royals, by the way. Brett Myers, who's a Royals guy. Um, but I do agree that listen, at some point, get some deals done for, just for the fans. Get some deals done. What's up, Jeremy? What's going on? And we've got extra bases, five out of fifteen. Jose Ramirez, triple relic and autograph. The Indians might make some make some trades. They might let go of some guys. They might start some sort of rebuild. 
Rebels hoping that your Royals get a better bullpen. Well, I think they got some work to do sort of all around, right? They've had a, they had a great run. And now they're they've got to they've got to rebuild another team. Should be a challenge. Jonathan Torres says the Yankees need to bring in Cole or Strasburg and another back end starter. Oh, the Yankees got pieces to trade, I think. I think they can do it. They can figure something out creative instead of just I'm not sure if the idea of signing like a 29-year-old Garrett Cole to a seven-year, $150 million contract or something like that. Mm. Seven-year, $350 million. You know something crazy like that? I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if... I don't think those days are not as common anymore, for, especially for older pitchers. No word on Strasburg, Jeremy. Here's our last box, by the way. But I, th I think the, the smart way to build a deep team is 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 not to add those big payroll guys. I mean, every once in a while you kind of do. Maybe Cole is the guy. I'm a little nervous about signing Garrett Cole and Steven Strasburg. You want to take that injury risk? Yeah, Sean says Nats will get Strasburg back. That, I think that makes sense. With the money they save from Strasburg or from uh, Harper, I'll bet they put that into uh, Strasburg. <laughs> And I think they may let Anthony Rendon walk. That's the guy I think they let walk. And he was going to be a lot of money too. So I think the whatever money they save from Harper and the money they save from Rendon, they're going to have to eventually pay Soto. And they're going to pay Strasburg to sit there too because Scherzer's not getting any younger. All right. Good luck, everybody. Seventeen out of ninety-nine. Speaking of the Nats, there's Victor Robles, World Series champ. John McCall with the Nationals. <coughs> Excuse me. Jonathan Torres saying people think Cole's going to the Angels, but no way they bring on another huge contract. I agree with that. It'd be a good fit. That the Angels do need some frontline pitching, but they thought they're still paying. There's Garrett Cole too. We're just talking about him. They still have to pay Trout. They got to pay Otani. They got to pay. They're still paying Pujols. But I think that's maybe that's a it's a move they got to do though. This guy right here grew up in Newport Beach, I think. Went to UCLA. Great pitcher. Is that the move though? Like 29, 30 year old Garrett Cole. You you give him through seven years and 25, 30 million a year for that. I don't know, especially when you guys still have this guy on the books, Albert Pujols, 20 out of 25, Game Gear Relic. Garrett Cole Relic goes to Sean, and this also goes to Sean, too. Ever wants Garrett Cole on the Phillies? There's Nolan Ryan, 48 out of 99. And that is California Angels edition. That goes to Sean. Redemption is going to be... Craig Biggio. Nice treasured material signatures for Sean and the Astros. That's pretty cool. A killer bee. Edward wants, uh, you know, Phillies could definitely use some starting pitching. A different top loader over there. I don't know, I think a lot of people are going to need Garrett Cole's services. We got Ryan O'Hearn, 27 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph. Nice one for the Royals. Dodgers could use some pitching. Goes this way. That is Teoscar Hernandez, 55 out of 99, triple relic and autograph for the Houston Astros. Another one for Sean. Dodgers lose 
Hyunjin Ru possibly to free agency. Although with his injury history, I'm not sure who's going to pay him. He's Scott Boris client. Kershaw's getting older. Walker Buehler's great. Rich Hill's off the books. I don't know. The Dodgers have to retool some stuff too. Woo! Look at this. Richard Zitterman. 58 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph Pete Alonzo. Nice one, Richard. The Dodgers will get Hyunjin Ru back. I figured he. I fig. I figured he would. I. I would think they would work out a deal. I can't imagine someone giving him so many years and so much money with that injury history. I think Dodgers already know the injury history, are comfortable with it, and would probably probably be like, "Hey, we know, we know what we're dealing with. We'll work with him." West Coast, lot lot closer to Korea. And the last one here. What do we got? Legends book. Legends material, 16 out of 49. That's Tris Speaker. Nice. A piece of old Tris Speaker's lumber. Game used as well. That's pretty cool. Cleveland Indians, Daniel Anderson. With the Tris Speaker. Tris Speaker, that's a player from, that's a piece of his lumber, right? Game used, he played between 1907 and 1928. So think about that. Think about how cool a piece of that wood is there. Man, I think he played for the Indians the longest, 1916 to 1926. 345 lifetime, 3,514 hits. 117 home runs, 1,500 runs batted in, 792 doubles, and then managed the Indians from 1919. Was he, he was a player manager, 1919 to 1926. There you go. As a player manager, he led the team to the first World Series title in 10 of his 11 seasons. The Indians. There you go. You don't see that anymore. Thanks, everybody. That was Jaspi's five-box high-end hybrid baseball pick-your-team mixer number one on a Saturday. Appreciate everybody getting in, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.